Hello, 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 hello. My name is Agatha and this is a tarot reading to find out um, about the movie Han Solo. And I want to know how will Han Solo do uh, at the box office, box office worldwide. And uh, this is a, a reading that is valid for a year. So it's not just uh, when it shows, when it uh, premieres, which is uh, 24th of May 2018. But, you know, like during a year, how will the Han Solo movie do? I want to know this because uh, I've been uh, watching lately a, a lot of um, Star Wars fans and they are absolutely hate, hate uh, how the last giant, Jedi came out, so um, so they have very low expectations towards Han Solo. So I'm going to use the Barbieri Tarot, which is a tarot with a sci-fi type of vibe. Uh, this is going to be the Celtic Cross, which, which is a, a 10 card reading. And if you'd like your own personal consultation, please write to duniazad at gmail.com and I'd be delighted to work with you. So let's see. How will the movie Han Solo do worldwide uh, at the box office? And not, not just the, the box office, with everything which is associated with, with the movie, including the toys and all of that. How will the movie Han Solo do worldwide? And this is for a year. For a year, for a year, for a year, for a year. Okay? Let's see. So, one, two, and three. Okay, let's start. The central theme. Uh, temperance, temperance card. Okay, maybe mild. That which is yet not seen. The Knight of Cups. Oh my god, it's going to be a romance. It's going to be a romance of some kind. It's going to be a love story. The basis, the root, the causes. The, the Hermit card, okay, it's a standalone. This, this might mean that it's a standalone. And uh, I don't know if it's supposed to be three also, but maybe because it's going to be like mild in terms of maybe it might be uh, the revenue revenue might not be the way that they thought, that Disney would thought it would be. So maybe instead of, uh, instead of three, it's just one. So, the past influencing the present and the future. Oh, the Nine of Swords, yes. Everyone hated The Last Jedi. Everyone. I'm, uh, I, maybe not everyone, maybe the critics. I didn't see it. Okay, I'm just going... Th um, uh, I'm, uh, uh, I'm saying you uh, uh, what uh, everything that I've uh, been seeing on YouTube, the rants concerning, this, uh, concerning The Last Jedi. Now, that which is... On their mind or that which they want and I'm gonna read this maybe let's see the seven of okay this is more connected with Disney the seven of Pentacles or the seven of coins they want to collect money they want to you know maybe they want about seven 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 hundred million uh, revenue I don't know if this is like uh, the money that they need in in order to uh, not the, I don't know if this this is what they want in terms of um, revenue, total revenue, or <coughs> sorry, or if the Disney wants seven hundred millions of um, profit. I don't know exactly what figures they want. So the near future now uh, today is the eleventh of April, twenty eighteen. So uh, it uh, it could be two to three months from now, but in May, the movie comes out in May, so six weeks, maybe six, seven weeks from now, might apply. Let's see. It's the Five of Swords, yeah. It's like everyone is going to... I'm sorry, I'm, I'm feeling that this applies more, the five, five of Swords applies more, sorry, to... Uh, to Disney and how it will feel that it will have to defend and hand solo because I think that everyone is going to attack it. 
Now, the next card uh, connects, it's the film, it might be the film itself, it's the movie itself. Six of Swords, okay, so it's a trip of some kind, a voyage, a journey. I don't know exactly uh, what they will be doing, I saw the, 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 the trailer, but I'm not committing into it, okay, I'm not, I'm a fan, but I'm not, I'm a fan that I'm, 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 I can wait around and, and I'm not going to go to the movie to see this. Uh, the next card will be in the position of the environment. And it's the Five of Cups, Disappointment. Disappointment. So I would say that uh, this card connects more to the people who are going to see the movie. Uh, disappointment. Disappointment. Regret. Now the next card is Fears, Hopes, Advice. And it's... Uh, yeah, it's a hope. It's a hope. This is the star, it's the, the star card. Star Wars, okay. It's a hope that everything will turn out to be okay. I would say that um, Disney still hopes that everything turn out to be okay. And the fans still hope, they still have that desire that everything will turn out to be okay. Now, uh, the outcome, it's the Knight of Swords. Okay, I'm gonna. Okay, this is at the bottom of the deck, which is the chariot card. So the chariot card means success. It might have mild success. Okay, a bit more six. It might be a little bit more successful than that which was expected. Uh, but there's like a strong energy here of having to defend it by Disney. So the central theme, it's the temperance card. Now this movie might be, might serve somewhat as a healing. And it's like a healing, not just to Disney, maybe to, to the fans, but it's also another way of reading this card. It's like everything is mild in mo moderate. It's not going to be a very, it's not going to be a very, how do I say this? It will not be as adventurous and fa fantastic that people uh, would want. So it's, it's going to have like a mild, moderate kind of tone. And it will mildly do at the box office and everything connected with making money with this movie. The revenue, I, I would say, it's going to be mildly successful. If I read these two cards together, if I read at the bottom of the deck, the chariot with the temperance, I would say it will be mildly successful. Now, that which is yet not seen, there's the Knight of Cups. Um, okay. There might be new, new toys, new toys connected with this. And there might be some sort of love history connected with this, uh, you know, love. Oh my God, love story connected with this movie. And this movie is about healing. I don't, I don't know. The plot is connected with the healing. Is connecting with getting something connected with healing. Maybe healing death or healing old old age. I don't know, I don't know what, what is, but something like, something like, you know, um, the fountain of youth type of thing. I have no idea, okay, I have no idea about the plot, I have no idea, I'm just reading the cards. Even the, the, the trailer, I didn't pay all that much attention, so maybe the plot might be connected with, the, with that. Getting somewhere to get some sort of healing thing, a healing device, and maybe they have to fight monsters to get a healing thing that will heal old age or something like that. The Hermit card also tells me that maybe this is like the first and last. Uh, and this movie will affect Star, uh, Star Wars num number 9, because the Hermit card is number 9. So it will affect somehow 
the way uh, episode 9 of Star, War, Star Wars will be made and will be uh, filmed. There's like some sort of loneliness here. There's like a loning, long, loneliness, being alone, being alone. Maybe, maybe Han Solo in this movie is betrayed and at the end he's alone and he doesn't trust women, he doesn't trust people. I don't know. But also this card tells me that maybe this is like the, fir the first and last Han Solo. The past influencing the present and the future. The Nine of Swords, everyone hated The Last Jedi, so this is extreme pain and, and um, sorrow and, you know, uh, connected with The Last Jedi. So the public that will be going to see Han Solo still has very present in their mind and in their heart the way they felt when they saw The Last Jedi and they felt gutted, they felt... Uh, they hated it, okay? And this pain is very much still present, okay? Now, that which is wanted, that which is on the mind. And I would say this is more connected, like I said, to Disney. Disney wants to make a good profit. Disney may maybe wants to make about seven 700 millions, I would say. Uh, I don't know if this is total revenue that Disney wants to do or if it wants to do a, a profit of 700 million and this I would say towards within a year. I don't know if that's possible. Uh, that's what they want. I don't know if they will achieve it or not. The near future, I would say starting in May, April, May, June, July. So May, June, July. The, the energy present connected with this movie is the Five of Swords. And it's again an, en an energy of defeat. Of defeat. Maybe Disney will feel defeated. Maybe Disney will feel uh, viciously attacked. Okay. And uh, it will respond in a very arrogant sort of way to it, to the attack, uh, to the attacks of uh, Han Solo the movie. It, like in a yeah. Look at the guy. Look at the way he is standing. He's like, I'm better than you. You don't know anything. You have no idea. I'm better than you. So, if fans also will be attacking Han Solo, Disney will defend itself and it will uh, resort to cheap tricks in order to defend itself. And it will behave in a very arrogant sort of way. Like, I'm better than you. The fans don't know anything. They're stupid. They're, you know, they... They will just try to keep put people down uh, while defending themselves. So there's like a very strong energy of uh, having to um, defend themselves, but in a very negative way. They will defend themselves in a very negative way, and they will attack. They will attack. They will viciously attack anyone who attacks them. Um, what else? What else? So this is like some sort of victory connected with this movie also it might do better than expected okay it might be even now uh, um, every time i go to youtube and i watch movies connected uh, rants 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 connected with the last jedi uh, everyone is like uh, saying boycott boycott han solo i don't think that will happen to a very large extent Many people will go and see Han Solo, okay. And the one, the ones who uh, did not went and didn't will not go and see will attack the ones who went. So the one, there are people. It's kind of like a division. Like, did you vote for Trump? Kind of like that type of thing, okay. At least in America, okay. So people who went and see the movie will be attacked by the ones who did not went and see the movie. And uh, they will be called stuff like, like, you are helping Disney, you are promoting Disney, you are promoting this crap just by showing up and appearing and paying for the ticket. Uh, so you are just as bad as them. So we could, there will be like a very big division between, and these are people who truly love the Star Wars franchise. Both people, those, those who will go and see Han Solo, and those who will not go and see Han Solo. 
I'm thinking this will divide the community of fans. Like everyone is going to be attacking everyone. So this movie will cause a lot, a great deal of dissent, a great deal of conflict between everyone. And this will be starting, this will be very apparent in May, June, July, I would say. So the next card might be the, the, the movie itself, that's the Six of Swords to me. Uh, this card is also an energy of healing. So at some level, at some level, uh, uh, sorry, uh, the Six of Swords and the Temperance card um, both are connected with the energy of healing. Okay, emotional healing, physical healing, spiritual healing. So, to some fans, I would say that this movie will not seem as bad as they uh, as they thought it would be. That some somewhat somewhat they, it will heal them from the um, the great uh, disappointment that the last Jedi was. Another way of reading this card, if this day, if that is not correct, if my interpretation is not correct, the movie again might be connected with the, with traveling, with the journey. Yes, of course, <laughs> but it's uh, seeking something connected with healing. You know, it's something connected with healing. Maybe they, they are, are after some sort of artifact, artifact or something that has healing powers. Okay, I have no idea if, that, if, if, it's, if it's going to be like this or not. Something that has healing powers. Now, the next card, I would say these are the people who are going to see the movie. It's the Five of Cups. They're, they're going to be disappointed, yes, but not completely, not entirely. There's Again, there's like disappointment still, but in traditional decks, the Five of Cups usually has three cups spilled and two cups upright. So it's like 60% of them will be very disappo disappointed and 40% of the people who, will, uh, who are going to see this movie will not be disappointed. And I'm not talking about the critics. Okay, it's... Or it could be like somewhat disappointing, but not totally. It's, it, it will have very good parts. Um, so, okay, and this is uh, the, the fi figure represented here. It's the figure of a woman. So maybe they'll be re disappointed with the female figures in this movie, present in this movie. Maybe the uh, maybe people or the fans or the people who are going to, or the viewers who are going to see this movie uh, expected more of the female figures present in Han Solo, but they will be somewhat disappointing. But there's a, there's like a, a strong there's like a, an energy of being disappointed with this movie. Disney itself will be disappointed also. Disney itself might uh, make. You know, because again, this is a figure of a woman. Might be very, ha might have very disappointing figures in terms of revenue connected with the women that will go and see the movie. So maybe a lot of guys will go and see the movie, but the women will not make the effort. And to them, to Disney, uh, it, this is a lack. Uh, it's like. We're not getting the money from the women. Women are not going to see this movie. Why aren't women going to see this movie? Maybe that's like, maybe they had some sort of projections connected with women and the amount of money that women could bring to Han Solo. Not just in terms of going and see the movie and maybe buying the toys or stuff like that. Uh, and the figures will be very disappointing to Disney. It could be that as well. So I'm thinking that. Uh, I know that a lot of people are just com complaining about, you know, women, uh, uh, the way that women are portrayed as heroes and all of that. Um, they use even use a term, term that I really dislike, but I'm not going to repeat it. But they think it's a ploy. It could be a ploy, yes, but the ploy is connected with money. It's with money. The, 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 the changes, like uh, giving more prominence to females in the Star Wars franchise uh, it's only to get their money it's only to get more women to watch this franchise 
Okay, it's like to, to add another part of the population to this franchise. And I think Disney will be extremely disappointed with it because women will not be going, especially maybe young women. Maybe young women will not go the way that young men will go. Uh, now, hopes, fears and dreams and advice. It's the star. This is this is the Star Wars. OK, this is Star Wars and the, the this is a major arcana card showing up. Showing up the star uh, tells me this is this is the card connected with hope, okay? And there's a movie called A New Hope. I just seen it. Uh, it was rebranded, it was retitled, but it's A New Hope, and it's it, it's back to the the three earlier movies, the three the, the three first movies. So maybe they will be looking. Maybe Disney will be looking at the New Hope in order to be inspired. In order to uh, redo, I would say, uh, the the episode nine of Star Wars. Maybe they'll be looking at a new hope. That's what I'm thinking. Also, uh, this would be this would be the advice, okay, to Disney, most most particularly to Disney. The advice to the fans, if this card is connected with the fans, is like don't lose hope, okay, don't lose hope. Still feel inspired. Uh, the fear is losing hope. Okay, the fear is losing is losing is like the feeling that there that Star Wars is lost forever. That's the fear. This is not the desire. No one no one wants this. Uh, also, there's a, a female here in this card. There's a lot of females in this deck, but usually the star card there's a woman. In the uh, in the star card, so I'm looking at the fact that she has arrows, er arrows. So there might be like a female protagonist, protagonist, a female character in the, uh, the Han Solo movie that might have arrows. You know, that might be very good with a bow and arrow. Oh my God, it's like Katniss. <laughs> my God. I just thought of that. But there might be some sort of, it might be presented a character, a strong female character that could be like a, a secondary, secondary female character. And that character might be the one that eventually, somewhere, somewhere down the line, somewhere down the road, a few years from now, uh, kind of saves the franchise. Uh, I don't know, but this is like more more like a hope also more like a hope from from Disney uh, from Disney. There's like a hope from Disney to present strong female characters because they want their money. It's that's it. It's 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 they want their money, and I it's, it's interesting that I said Katniss because I don't remember the. Well, I don't remember remember the it's Mockingbird. I don't remember the name of the movies. I'm sorry, I didn't see them. I saw them a little bit on TV, but I didn't see them. Maybe they're looking at uh, that franchise. Also, I think it was a trilogy. I don't remember with Jennifer Lawrence, and maybe they're looking at the numbers that that those movies did. And Katniss was a very strong female protagonist and, and they looking at the numbers of those movies and they want the same for Star Wars and they need to attract women and this is why they're like pushing women into the Star Wars it's like pushing women it's because they want their money because okay Star Wars is like a strong female and now you are able to attract attract women as well I, I'm thinking it's kind of backfiring it's backfiring if they're thinking about this in terms of money, people don't like it, okay? Now, the the final outcome is like the Prince of Swords. Like a strong, uh, it's like a strong attack. This is a, a, an attack. And now, who's attacking? I would say everyone is attacking this movie. That's the first way of reading. Uh, this one way of reading the the Prince of Swords. Everyone is attacking. I'm thinking the fans. People are going to see it. I have no idea about the critics. 
maybe the critics will present a very mild type of review, but I would say the fans will absolutely many, it's like, some will like it, others will not like it, but the vast majority, not the vast majority, I would say between it's 60% to 40%, 60% will hate it, 40% will say things like, okay, it has good parts in it, it has very good parts in it, and maybe the, the people who will absolutely hate it will attack the ones who are trying to defend Han Solo, and uh, are trying, will attack the fans who are trying to defend Han Solo. So there's like a very strong, aggressive and hostile, hostile energy connected with this movie, yes. Another way of reading this card is that Disney itself will absolutely attack every single one uh, who uh, makes bad reviews. They will, uh, they will use every uh, mean, every mean to attack those who have negative re reviews. They will go on the offense, they will go on the attack in order to defend this movie because they are defending the revenue and they are defending the profit. Somehow to me, 700 millions is like the key figure. It's like, it's the key figure. I don't know if it's like, it's what they absolutely need to make worldwide, 700 millions, or if it's the thing that they would wish in terms of profit. I'm thinking it's more like the bare minimal that they need in order to be above water in connection with this movie. They'll, the, the bare minimal that they will need is $700 million worldwide. And they will defend this movie to their ability. They even they will resort to lawyers. They will try to shut people up. I don't know, but it is this this seems interesting. Okay, but I might be wrong. Okay, I might be wrong. What I'm seeing here is that there might be maybe just one movie. This is just one movie. They I don't think they'll make more than one. I might be wrong. I'm just reading the cards, okay? Uh, so then, that's it. This is the ring that I have. Uh, how many major arcana cards? One, two, three major arcana cards. So, yeah. Yeah. And there's how many swords? One, two, three, four swords. Okay. And there's some sort of disappointing love story. There might be some sort of disappointing love story connected with this movie that no one will like. Okay, even the women will be disappointing. Uh, there, there might be like a, a female character who will be disappointing in this movie. And, and the movie might be about, like I said, about a journey, about the healing journey, about getting some sort of artifact or something that is connected with healing, that has some sort of healing powers. I have no idea, okay? So, that's it. Uh, this is the reading, that, the reading that I have. Then you can come back a few months from now and you can tell me, you were wrong, you were right. Oh! And if you'd like your own personal reading, please write to duniazad at gmail.com and I'd be delighted to work with you. Bye-bye.